This is a continuation of my video on alternate day fasting or ADF, the specific research and health benefits involved. Alternate day fasting, ADF, also helps the body increase overall resilience. So far we know that if the heart, brain, or spinal cord of a rat is injured, they recover much better if they have been on ADF. But also, even if the ADF is started after the injury, they recover better. For example, they tied off a coronary artery in the rat hearts of rats and then divided the groups, the rats, into two groups. After two weeks, they started feeding one group every other day. Almost 90% of the rats that were fed normally died. Amazingly, only 22% of the rats that started eating every other day after two weeks died. The hearts of the fasted rats that survived also functioned significantly better. Also, you can inject rats that are on ADF with toxic chemicals like chemotherapy that are designed to kill cancer and they tolerate it much better than normal. I think that we will eventually learn how to put patients with cancer on ADF before they start chemotherapy and be able to give them higher doses of chemotherapy than usual and kill more of the cancer with less ill effects on the patient. Rats on ADF are also protected from Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders such as Huntington's disease. We know that ADF dramatically increases shock proteins that help protect cells during stress such as brain-derived neurotropic factor or BNDF. This is how ADF increases the body's overall resilience. ADF also helps prevent cancer. I know of three ways that it does this and there are probably more. First, if you inject rats on ADF with cancer, they get cancer much less often than rats that are eating normally. So this shows that the body's ability to fight cancer once it is formed is somehow improved. ADF also increases I'm sorry, it decreases cellular proliferation. Cellular proliferation is how frequently cells in the body divide. The higher the rate of cell division, the higher the chance of mistakes being made in duplicating DNA and a higher risk of cancer. ADF reduces cellular proliferation by at least 50% and sometimes 90% and therefore reduces the risk of mistakes. And thirdly, ADF also reduces oxidative stress, which has to do with free radical formation and damage to the body, including DNA. That leads me to talk about how ADF could help us live longer. Of course, your chances of living longer are going to be better if you have less heart disease, diabetes, and brain disease. Some scientists think that oxidative stress causes some aging as well. Then there's the sirtuin system that is activated by ADF that may promote longevity. That is too complicated for this video, but you may have heard about resveratrol from red wine. That also seems to be work by activating the sirtuin system. Well, there's more, but that's enough for these videos. Probably not all of this will play out once human research is done, but I'm convinced that most of it will, making ADF a very healthy way to eat. If you want more information, Brad Pelin at Eat Stop Eat has many helpful videos that have good information on fasting as well. I hope to put out more videos as time goes on also. Thank you for watching.